Hey everyone, so I'm in Sacramento, California because I wanted to meet Tony. I met him before and I came back through again. Hi. And he's making this new item for the front. And now I have the uh, custom front covers and um, I call it uh, what the front because uh, when I first showed it off, you know, uh, people were like, what the? And then, yeah, like, what okay. the hell? What, what is that? Yeah, right. what the F? So, what, yeah. yeah, so that's what, what I'm calling it. So it's what the front, front covers. Which yeah. out of all the Tesla accessories, I saw this uh, being posted on Twitter. This is like the coolest thing I've seen. They're highly customizable. You can get yeah, basically anything. You, you can customize it with any graphics. Uh, like for example, maybe maybe your your uh, local Tesla club or um, your business or you know just your social media. Basically, you can customize it with anything you want. It's uh, made of half inch acrylic and it's CNC carved on the back and um, it's also edge lit up so all of the car rings just basically pop right so that's what cool. we're doing today and all right. it can it can also even be outfitted uh, with a complete audio system so if you're at a tesla meetup or something you can pop up your your frunk and within a matter of minutes you will have sound and even you know if you have a mixer you can plug in the mixer and you can have you can do announcements and stuff like that so and all connected through bluetooth Bluetooth, that, that, yeah, mm -hmm. yes, Bluetooth, or there's also auxiliary one, auxiliary two, you can actually hardwire it in there. Okay, you know, cool. So, that's all right. Day. Well, we're going to see how this is made, so follow us along, and in a few minutes, this frunk here, well, not in a few minutes, a few minutes for you, but hours for us, <laughs> this frunk here, next time you see that, it'll have a cover in it. All right, let's do this. Basically, when you have it here, I always have to remember because we're, we're actually doing a reverse carving. I actually um, have to remember to flip it once flip we're done. Flip it. Flip it. Yeah. Otherwise, exactly. what's called a V-bit carving right here. And basically, we're choosing a, a, a it's a 90 degree V-bit V-bit right here. And then when you change out the tool, of course, it's different lengths. So then what you have to do is you have to calibrate. So uh, this slowly touches down. And what, what that does is it tells it tells the computer where the surface of the material is. Okay. Yeah. We drop down. I, I just kind of move this around just to make sure that it's in the right position and it doesn't and once it touches that. And I can pre-process it. It actually tells me how much time it's gonna take right here. It's uh, 24 minutes, and then you can actually preview it and
Look at that. Wow. That is awesome. gonna do is I'm gonna put I'm gonna spray a ceramic coating on here This is a quick disconnect, just in case you need to remove it. Um, I think it's rated at uh, it's rated at uh, 30 amps, which is more than enough. I don't I don't think that thing that thing's gonna draw. Let's see here. Input voltage. Okay, I didn't tell you how much it draws. All right, we're about to drill this bad boy, and uh, there's. Right here, right, Wade? Yep, let's put it right there. There's no going back. Okay, test fit. Is it gonna work? Ah, uh, perfect, it doesn't. Perfect, yay! It didn't hit anything in the back, which is good. Went right in there. Yep. That's where we needed. Cool. All right, got that. What do you think, Wade? Should I just solder this thing on here? Or use the spade, which I don't, I don't like. So, with vibration, spades could yeah, potentially okay. vibrate loose. Okay. Um, Case in point. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna solder it on there. How about that? And then you'll have a disconnect on the other side somewhere. Yeah, right here. Yep. This is gonna go here? Yep. That's where we need. Wait, let me see, is it long enough? Yeah, I think it's... You can reach it and just unplug it, right? Yeah. The tricky part is putting this ring, which is right here, that I push around the back side, and now I've got to screw it onto here. And let's see if we can do this. What we're trying to get in the back. Let's see. Okay, Hold no on. <laughs> it's plugged in. We got plugged fuse in. We got, the, in. we got a 15 amp fuse right here, and uh, this is going into this uh, little uh, relay box. It has a little uh, remote control. It comes out to the cigarette socket. We're going to test it out right now. On. You hear that click? Wow. We got power. Cool. Off. On off switch with radio frequency yep. control. All right. Perfect. Okay.
just gotta plug it in and we're done. Are you trying to use me to hold that? Yeah, right can you hang on to this? Yeah. Okay, so you got those hooked up. Yeah, so there. there's there's a black and there's a red for the sub right here. Right. And then this connector is for the power. You just plug it in. I'm oh, sorry, not for the power, for the LEDs. Okay. And then the last one here is the brick, the power brick that goes into the little 2.1 amp. There we go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Elon. 